Meet Dr. Panda. Dr. Panda is an excellent educator and is always looking for tools and resources to leverage for student success in the classroom. Dr. Panda is looking forward to the upcoming school year, especially because Dr. Panda's institution selected the learning management system Canvas. Dr. Panda recommends all instructors using Canvas begin with these simple steps. Choose a course homepage, customize the course navigation and syllabus, and upload needed files they will need as they further add content to the Canvas course. Let's take a look at how Dr. Panda quickly and easily accomplished these tasks. After opening Canvas, Dr. Panda looks to the right of the dashboard for a Start a Course button. Please note that your institution may have already created a course shell for you that should appear here in the dashboard. Your Canvas admin may have removed your ability to start a new course, so check with your Canvas admin if you do not have the Start a New Course button and you do not have a course on your dashboard. Dr. Panda also has a sandbox course. Sandbox is the term that Canvas uses to refer to an experimental or play zone where no students will ever be enrolled. Dr. Panda is free to try out features in this sandbox without affecting their current course. Dr. Panda knows creating a course in Canvas reduces work in later terms. All content built natively, which means content not connected to apps, in Canvas can be reused in future course shells. Dr. Panda takes the time to think long-term on how their course should look and flow. This begins with the home page. The course home page is the first page students see when they open the course. Dr. Panda can customize the type of home page format from several options. The course home page serves as the front door of Dr. Panda's course and Dr. Panda wants the home page to say, come on in, welcome to this course. Visuals can help with that. Dr. Panda in this course has customized a Canvas content page. Canvas content pages allow Dr. Panda to present information to students without requiring submissions from students. Dr. Panda's homepage has the following features that follow good course design, visual representation of course content, brief course description or introduction, clear navigation instructions for students to open current content. By default, the course homepage is set to course modules. Modules allow organization of course content into a logical progression. Modules also allow Dr. Panda to pull in pages, assignments, and quizzes into one space, reducing redundant clicking for students. Dr. Panda did not feel that modules was the best option for the first impression to their course, especially since Dr. Panda's students need visual cues and some of Dr. Panda's students are remote. Other than modules, the course homepage layout options are the recent activity stream, the assignment list, and the two most popular, syllabus page, and the page set as the front page. Dr. Panda has chosen to set a front page as the home page, Canvas users' most popular option. Dr. Panda was able to customize a template found in the Canvas Commons to make this easy. The page's front page allowed Dr. Panda to design the course homepage from a completely blank page and include links, images, create buttons, and rich media. Dr. Panda chose the front page by opening the page's index, then made sure the page was published and that the page they wished to use as the home page was marked as the front page. After Dr. Panda set a front page, they then made their home page easily by going back to the course home page. Here, they clicked choose home page button and finally selected pages front page and save. Even though Dr. Panda has not chosen the syllabus page as their home page for their course, Canvas still provides a hybrid of customized 
and auto-generated content for the syllabus page. The syllabus in Canvas makes it easy to communicate to Dr. Panda's students exactly what will be required of them throughout the course in chronological order. The course summary found at the bottom of the syllabus page is automatically generated based upon assignments and events within a course. Items within the course summary can only be changed by editing or deleting the assignments or events. All assignments, both published and unpublished, are listed in the syllabus for Dr. Panda. Dr. Panda has chosen to add their official course syllabus PDF to this space above the auto-generated syllabus so that the final product aligns with these best course design practices. Provides class expectations such as participation rules, etiquette expectations, and code of conduct. Policies for grading late work and makeup work and technology requirements. And finally, Dr. Panda has provided contact information, which may include their biography, availability information, communication preferences, response time, and a picture. Dr. Panda has chosen to disable the course summary since their K-12 course is year-long and Dr. Panda does not wish to overwhelm the students. Now Dr. Panda is ready to customize the course navigation bar. They want to make navigating the course super simple for students like Tucker Panderson. Tucker's a third grader, so Dr. Panda has placed an image on the homepage where Tucker will click to get to Monday's content. That content is in the order Tucker should complete the assignments, assessments, and learning content from the curriculum that was added to the course in the order Dr. Panda has placed that content into the module. So Dr. Panda has decided to remove assignments, people, discussions, quizzes, and pages indices from the student view. To do this, Dr. Panda went to the course settings, selected the navigation tab, and was able to click and drag any course navigation links down below the visible break in the list. Any that are below the visible break in the list are not visible by students in the course. Be sure to save those changes, Dr. Panda. That save button is all the way at the bottom. The last item on Dr. Panda's creating a course checklist is to upload the files they will use throughout the term making it easier and quicker to build content later. Files allow Dr. Panda to view all details about their files, preview the files, publish and unpublish files, as well as set usage rights and restrict access to files if needed. Any files in the course files index can potentially be visible to students, but Dr. Panda does have the ability to make certain folders and files invisible to students unless opened inside of the course and not in the course file folder. Some files Dr. Panda does not want students to open unless they are given the link to the file. Like when reflecting on their assessment performance, Dr. Panda will give out the link to the answer key. Dr. Panda sets the file visibility to only available to students with link, then places the link in the module or an announcement. Dr. Panda loves to use the student availability based on date setting. When this is chosen, students cannot view the file in course files outside of the restricted dates. If the file is linked in another area of Canvas, such as modules or assignments, students will be able to see the name of the file, but if they click the file, they will see a message stating that the file has been locked and cannot be viewed until the specified date. This is great to release notes for review before a unit assessment. Dr. Panda has been teaching for over 15 years and has a ton of files. It was pretty easy to upload a zip file for Dr. Panda into Canvas. Zip files are uploaded the same way as individual files and will retain the folder hierarchy inside of the zip file. Dr. Panda is feeling pretty good and is ready to start using the Canvas course. When Dr. Panda is ready for students to see the course, all that needs to be done now is to publish the course. This Publish Course button can be found on the course homepage. 